Hi, this is Bob Gallico. In 1897, a little girl named Virginia Hanlon wrote a letter to the New York Sun. The letter read, Dear Editor, I'm eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it is so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia Hanlon, 115 West 95th Street. The quick response to the letter was printed as an unsigned editorial. The work of veteran newsman Francis Church has since become history's most reprinted newspaper editorial, appearing in part or whole in dozens of languages in books, movies, other editorials, and on posters and stamps. It began, Dear Virginia, your little friends are wrong. And the essence of the response was a warm affirmation of the spirit of Santa Claus and of Christmas itself. It appeared in a gentler and more thoughtful age. And I got to wondering if such a response would have been written today. And my feeling is, probably not. Perhaps more like this. Dear Virginia, your little friends are brainless morons. Of course there is a Santa Claus. Who do you think the guy with the beard in the mall is? Osama bin Laden? Okay, okay, he might only be some part-time actor working for SantaForHire.com for a hundred bucks an hour, but hey, what do you want these days? At least when you ask him nicely for something, he'll ho-ho-ho, pat you on the head, and give you a toy, which is more than you'll ever get from any politician, even at a hundred bucks an hour. This year, despite the financial tribulations of the past year that have affected so many, it's shopping as usual. As multi-talented singer, author, and relationship advisor J.C. Ray says about Christmas in one of her advice notes, the malls are crowded, the parking lots are filling up, the drivers are rude, cranky people are clamoring for bargains, and grumpy retail clerks are struggling to keep the long lines moving. The thing is, no matter how scary our bank statements are, we cannot stop shopping. The consumer generation doesn't know how to do anything else. Meandering around the mall is America's daily exercise. Sure, spending is great for the economy, but even when we should be saving, cutting back, and doing without, we're searching for sales, standing in line and racking up our credit cards, even if it's in smaller increments. For Americans long used to instant gratification, the bottom line is this. It's hard to tighten your belt when you've always had an elastic waistband. "'Twas the month before Christmas, and all through the mall "'the people were shopping from wall to wall. "'The bargains were loaded on counters with care, "'in the knowledge that credit cards soon would be there. "'From me, Bob Gallico, to all our Radio Irish listeners, "'a very happy holiday season.'"